Hello everybody. Uh, we're going to take a look at a couple of the adjustments that I've made. Um, they'll appear as we as we go here. Um, so I've I've added a couple new things. Uh, we're now handling variations correctly. Uh, additionally, I've added a, a situation where it will produce a link in the CSV file that you download that you can bookmark, and then it will automatically fill in your uh, settings that you used um, to generate that CSV file. A couple of things got neatened up a few months ago as well. Um, but we're going to see those incidentally as we go here. But the goal of this video is to look at uh, how to make this whole situation slightly more automated. So what we're going to do is uh, I have Going straight to. Okay, it's decided to be a pain today. There we go. All right, so we're going to delete that. Um, right. And so what I have done is I've created, I've got a Dropbox here, and I have uh, set up a folder at CSV file, uh, and so this is going to allow us to set up Facebook catalog to automatically update. Uh, there's just a couple slightly, there's a couple things that are pretty straightforward that we've got to do. But first off, we have to go to the uh, Beagle app and get everything set up here. The first time you come in here uh, after the update, you want to make sure that you type in uh, your shop name according to Etsy, the nicely formatted version of your shop name, how many listings you want, check whether you're paying attention to variations. If you're creating a Facebook shop, you probably are. If you're just trying to tag on Instagram, you may not uh, care. So that's why that's an optional tag here. Um, and then I'm going to check the I'm not a robot. Uh, and you can and enter your language if your language here is not English. Um, but we're ready to go. So we submit. Okay. And so we're now just about ready. So normally if you click on it, depending on your browser settings, uh, it may try to download it to your downloads folder automatically. Um, or, so that, that's going to be in your browser settings. Um, but whether you have those settings done or not, you always have the option of right-clicking, save link as, and then instead of the downloads folder, I'm going to go to my Dropbox that I've installed. You want to install the desktop Dropbox for your account, and then you click into your folder, and you just save it right here mm -hmm. okay hang on I, I just noticed an issue okay so sorry so save a link as and you'll want to make sure that it's um, you can always just change the, the name to what you want. Um, but if we say save here, and now if I'm about to right click and save link as, um, you'll want to be careful. Make sure you reuse the same name every time. But you hit enter, yes, and it will then update if you need a new version. Um, and so then we're going to get rid of that uh, weird one. And make sure we have just this. And so now you want to change your share settings. So we're going to share with Dropbox. And we're going to create a link. And so we have anyone with the link can view the file. So we're going to copy it. Uh, and so we have this nice link right here. 
So now we're ready to jump over to the Facebook uh, Commerce Manager. And we're going to add products. And now we go to Use Bulk Upload. And we click on the Scheduled Feed option. Uh, and now you can paste this in here. If you press Next, it's going to balk. It's going to tell you it doesn't. It, the, for, the file doesn't seem to be in the correct format. Um, because DL equals zero at the end of this Dropbox link. And this is different depending on what kind of uh, cloud storage you're using, but there should be a way to make it work with any cloud storage. Um, Dropbox was the first one I got to work with minimal effort. So that's the one I'm doing here. Uh, and the only change you have to make is to change it from viewing through the web to we want to activate the download so it will immediately, if you use this link, it would immediately open a download link according to your browser settings. So it would probably just drop it straight into the downloads um, on my test Windows account. I believe I got my main account set up so that it'll provide the save as dialog or the download to dialog box. It should be a setting, but when you change DL0, that would open a Dropbox viewing window. DL equals one means I just download it directly. And that's the form that uh, Facebook wants it to be in. So now I press next. And you only have to do this one time. Um, if you mess up and accidentally create a second copy in your uh, Dropbox folder, and I actually have this Google spreadsheet here because I was playing around with that. Um, but if you accidentally save it, forget to change the name, it's just going to create a new file and not update the previous one. So you should just, um, uh, if that happens, you'll want to re-download because you don't want to lose your, uh, your updated version. And um, Your other option is, you know, you can pop this open and just, you can download, if you accidentally download it to the wrong place, just drag it into the correct folder, either in the web or in your folder structure. Um, but if you download it with the same name, it'll ask you if you want to replace and that will work just fine. Uh, and so now, you just change the settings. Um, if you're not worried about, you know, it appearing more than once a day, if that's fine with you, you can set it to whatever settings you want. And hourly, you can actually choose. You don't have to go every hour, but you know, if six hours is fine, you can throw that in there. Oops, it's hourly. Well, um, I I pretty much never need it right away, so I will um, I'll make mine daily. At uh, what's a good time? What twelve p.m. in my time zone? Oh, you can add automatic updates. So your inventory will update at any time a new version is detected and also at your scheduled times. So this may make it actually go even faster. Okay, so you give your data source a name, that's fine. Upload it in there. should pick up all of my products. Seems pretty good. So, let me look at my products. Okay, there's some sort of issue. Um, it's not going to have an issue for you. This, uh, this demo account isn't properly set up is the reason why it's, it's failing to produce the products. Uh, I, haven't, <laughs> I haven't had time to go back and figure out exactly what's going wrong. But so something goofy has happened in my settings, and I need to 
to fix it. Um, but it does say the products were updated or added. There are some warnings, but um, and so it, it's just balking it. You know, it, it would really like some. There are some things it would prefer, like it wants to know, well, this pocket square, what's the gender associated with it? So it reduces the catalog quality, but it, it um, isn't critical. I may be able to add some of these things later, but it's pretty involved trying to make all of these things work out. And actually, there may not be a way to do it just from Etsy is the issue. You might have to manually do more involved stuff if you want to keep track of that. But like the size, well, of course, it's a pocket square. So I could say it's you know 13 inches square, but anyway. Yeah, as long as it's in your description, it'll be fine. It's just, you know, for advertising purposes in your Facebook shop, I, as far as I know. Um, but so now, now it should be it should be all nicely operational. So let's um, let's try to cause some trouble. So let's try to save link as, and then okay. So let's say that we mess up and and save it like this. Well, let's see what happens when we. Oh, sorry, I'm in my Google Drive, not the Dropbox. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so now we've got this, and it's going to be a completely new file, and so it's not going to update this one. Okay, so let's say that we mess it up. We try to rename it. Yeah, it, it doesn't like that. Um, the fastest fix would most likely be to go on Dropbox. Well, okay, the fastest fix is just make sure it went correctly, <laughs> right? Because you can just right-click this and download the file again. That's really the fastest way to fix it. Right-click, right, right -click, save link as, and then you just make sure it's the, the one, and then Dropbox will properly up update the file for you. There might also be a browser setting to make it so that downloads of things with the same name ask you if you want to replace it instead. There might be an option to uh, not try to rename. It's probably in, in my settings and I just haven't gone and found it yet. Um, so feel free to drag away, drop away from the video here. I'm going to uh, well, I'll just I'll just edit it on in just a second. All right, here's one. So I'm I'm just uh, so you should be able to find under settings, show advanced settings, download section. Tick the ask where to save each file before downloading option. So that should exist. Let me take a look in Chrome. Okay, so it's right here. Ask where to save each file before downloading. So you can just turn that on. And so now when I press this button it opens up a dialog. Okay, so that's one issue resolved. I mean, there's probably a setting in your browser as well if you're not using Chrome, but that's what I have here. All right, I found a Chrome extension. I would recommend that you do not install this extension until you have a save as dialog box. Once you set that, it will attempt to overwrite it, but it will always ask you if you want to overwrite it. Otherwise, it might uh, it might cause trouble. It might try to overwrite automatically, and you don't want that to happen. That seems like a recipe for trouble. But if you have ticked the box, the settings box that says open a save as dialog instead, when you try to save it, it will say this already exists. Do you want to save over it again? So I'm going to test that now. And uh, the, the thing did say all it does is manage downloads, so I shouldn't be able to see any trouble. Of course, I can't verify the, the, uh, 
safety of, of this Chrome extension, but it, it uh, doesn't seem to have the kind of permissions that could cause trouble. It can only manage your downloads. So it's probably safe. You can never guarantee these things, but I installed it without worrying about it. I'm sure it's fine. But just important to keep that in mind before you're installing random Chrome extensions. And sure enough, it does exactly what it says it would. So I click, and it does this. You click Save, and it says, do you want to replace it? Because we did a Save As dialog instead of automatically downloading. And we can say yes. And so, of course, you can do this either way. You don't have to do this final step if you don't mind really quickly deleting the one off of the end and you don't want to lose that functionality under normal circumstances. Um, if you just don't want to change it for other reasons, then you don't have to. You would then just have to delete the, the extra one on the end before you do it. But um, I'm going to keep these settings myself, actually. So much easier. Alright, so I hope you all have a good day. And uh, I hope things are going well with the app. Let me know in the... Uh, and talk to me on the contact uh, page, and I will try to help you out if there's anything that needs adding. Um, not everything is possible, but if there is you know, something that's just not behaving the way you would expect it to, um, so any kind of error, send me a message. I'll take a look at it. Uh, they, it does come to my email. Well, okay, it doesn't go directly to my email, but it, it sends me an email when you send something in. And then I reply from the, the email just to prevent any trickery. All right, so uh, have a nice day, and, and I hope everything is going well for you uh, as you manage your shop and in life. <laughs> Especially in these COVID times, right? Well, had to uh, make an addendum to the video. I forgot a piece. So once you've got your file downloaded, um, depending on where you where you want to open it up, uh, I'll, I'll uh, open it in. Uh, so I've got it open in Dropbox here, but you can also open it in, open the CSV file in Excel or in the spreadsheet program. And one of the new additions is in the cell 1E, with some lead-in to call your attention to it in capital letters. Um, in cell 1E, I've produced this link. And you can uh, copy it and then paste it in there. So I've added this little query string. And so in the CSV file that you download, it's got commented out at the top, this link, and you drop it in there, and all of these settings are immediately dropped into place. Okay, so you bookmark that link. So we're going to book back Windows D, not Control D, is what I pressed. So we've got a bookmark done, and so we... So in my, depending on how you set it up, you can set up a bookmarks toolbar. Um, I'm going to set up a bookmarks bar, and now it's in here. So we're just going to go see how fast we can do this. Click, click. Google has decided I have to verify the CAPTCHA. Submit. Mine's really fast. If you have a lot of listings with a lot of variations, it goes slower. But... We're already there with my other settings. I click. It's already got the correct thing. I save. I replace. It downloads. It's there. Dropbox is right now uploading it. It's uploaded. Facebook will pick it up and within the hour. Maybe much faster depending on how good it is at detecting automation. So, hope you all are having a great day uh, considering our current COVID situation. You can always contact me up here if there's anything behaving slightly oddly that you think might be a mistake.